Welcome back to this head, neck and shoulder release. Take a deep breath in, sweep the arms up high to the sky and take the hands to heart centre. We're going to take a moment to breathe here, activating our parasympathetic response to rest and relax. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale slowly out through the nose. Become mindful of the breath as we inhale, feeling the coolness of that breath. And then as we exhale, the warmth of that breath. Inhaling and slowing that breath down, exhaling. Inhale and exhale. Deep breath in. And now we're going to release those hands as we exhale and start to roll the shoulders up towards our neck. So drawing the shoulders up and in towards the ears and release back. Rolling them back, inhaling. And as we exhale, we're going to reverse that movement, drawing the, our shoulders up towards the ears and releasing forward. From here, taking a nice deep breath in. We're going to shake out those hands and start to shake it all the way up to the top of the room. And then exhaling, shaking it all the way back out. So just really kind of activating these energy systems in the body. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, drawing the arms up, getting that blood flow moving and releasing. Exhale it out, shake it off. Take the hands to the shoulders and the elbows out to the side, circling back gently. So just nice small circles rolling back. And then from here, we're going to switch directions. So we're going to take a nice deep breath in and then switching the other direction, inhaling up and over. And just move as far as feels good here. So don't force the shoulders. If you have one shoulder that's not quite as good as the other, that's fine. Just work with what mobility you have here. Then we're going to start to draw the elbows forward again, but this time bringing the elbows towards each other. So inhale as you lift up, releasing as you exhale. Really trying to draw those elbows in. Again, if your mobility is a little bit restricted here, don't worry. And then let's open it back out the other direction. So we're starting to open up that upper back a little bit as well. Inhaling and exhaling. So really try and work as best as you can with the breath as well. Inhale and exhale. Great work. Inhale, exhale, and then release the hands. Give those sh shoulders a little shrug again. So we're starting to move through that shoulder girdle, move into the heels, into the toes, into the legs. And we're just going to give the body a full shake out here. So really just getting the blood flow moving through the whole body. From here, let's interlace the hands, rolling the shoulders back and drawing the shoulder blades towards each other. We send the shoulders down the back. So pushing the palms down, inhaling. And exhale, release the chin to chest. You're gonna find a nice little opener for that upper back again, back of the neck as well. And then inhale, open up the neck, drawing the chin to the sky. Release again, chin to chest. Inhale, bring the arms round. So now what we're doing here, grabbing hold of the right wrist with the left hand, drawing it out to the side. Release the head to the left side. So you feel this lovely little stretch in the side of the neck here. Inhaling and exhaling. Switch the hands around, taking that right elbow to the side, releasing the right side of the head down, finding that lovely little stretch in the side of the neck. Inhale and exhale. Come back to center, come back to the opposite side, same thing again, bringing that left elbow out to the side. You might just notice you can come a little deeper into that stretch on the right side of the neck. Be really mindful you're not hitching up your shoulder to your ear, that your shoulder stays down and retracted. Inhaling and exhale, coming back to our center. And then from here, we're going to release the chin to chest and gently rotate the head over to your right side, just finding a gentle side stretch in the left side of the neck and then switching to the other. Again, try to work with your breath here. Exhale down. Inhale, rotate and open out. Excellent. 
release down, inhale, rotate out. Again, be mindful of not hitching the shoulders up to the ear. That is the ear coming down towards the shoulders. Then take your chin over to the right side and then over to your left side. Just finding that rotation and just become mindful of how far your neck is allowing you to move at this stage. We'll hopefully find a little bit more movement later in this practice. Draw the chin up to the sky, opening up the throat, exhale, chin to chest. From here, take a nice deep breath in and just noting from the side point, as we draw the chin up, we're waterfalling the head forward and over, okay? We're not collapsing down into ourselves, we're really rotating up and over. Nice deep breath in, exhale, keeping the chin to chest, and then inhale back to neutral position. Look over your right shoulder again. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, release chin to chest, and now rotate the head all the way around. Now very gently, so you'll notice I'm not yanking my head back. I am very gently moving it from one side all the way around to the other, only as far as feels comfortable for my neck. Inhale, reverse again, inhaling all the way around, exhale back to center, and switch direction. Inhale, and exhale, great work. Bring the head back up to neutral position. Take a nice deep breath in. And then from here, we're gonna come down to the ground. So placing your hands out in front of you, we're gonna to start to continue this movement through the shoulders. So we're gonna do a scapular retraction and protraction of the shoulders. So you're sinking the shoulder blades towards each other as you send the chest towards the floor. Keep the arms straight, keep the core engaged as we sink down. And as you push up and out, you're pressing the shoulder blades away from each other, creating space in between the shoulders. From here, send the bum back, send the fingertips out onto the tops of your fingertips for this child pose. The purpose being we're opening up the shoulders here rather than just straight into a child's pose. Let's take some nice deep breaths in, really thinking about opening up the chest. Then take the hands to the feet. So traditional child's pose, take a moment to feel that release in the shoulders, no weight in the shoulders and then take the hands alongside the head like a little tripod stand and gently roll over the back of the head. Now only go as far as feels comfortable, but again, you're gonna feel a really lovely stretch in the back of the neck. I promise you can probably go further than you realize. And this is a lovely little stretch to open up the back of the neck. Slowly take your time and release back down. This time from here, staying in this position, we're gonna roll up to seated and from here, we're going to take our hands behind us. So slowly place your hands behind you. Now, ideally, you want to have fingertips facing away. And we're arching the back gently, rolling back the shoulders. So a really nice chest opener, opening up the, ch the chest and the collarbones and the shoulders, releasing the head back. Now, if you feel more comfortable, you could have your chin into chest if that's better. From here, unravel yourself. Come back down onto the mat for me now. And now we're gonna place the palms behind us. Now, this is gonna feel a little bit more extensive, this stretch. So you're again, releasing the body back, feet are planted, so we've got some grounding here, releasing the head back. And if you feel you can, you can wiggle your bum forward a little bit more. If you have a chair, you could also place your hands onto the top of a chair, and this is a great little stretch and opener for those shoulders. Deep breath in, and release that breath out. So really keep working with this breath. This is what is gonna allow us to release this body, inhaling and exhaling. Slowly walk the feet back in, draw the bum back in and come back up to a seated position. So from here, nice deep breath in. We're gonna walk the hands forward now into a forward fold in our seated position. Now, you may not be coming down quite as low as I am, that is not a problem. But this is a nice little stretch to really open up the back into the hips as well, and opening up the shoulders again. So nice little, little release here. Walk the hands back, and then come into our tabletop. And from here, you're going to take your hands ahead of you, like a down dog, but without our feet tuck, tucked in. So we're really taking a nice long stretch here, opening up that upper back into the shoulders again. 
And then we're going to make this a little bit deeper for you. So in a moment, you are going to take those hands out to the corners of your mat for puppy pose. Now just be mindful, you want to make sure your knees are directly under your hips, okay? You don't want to kind of sink down and start dragging the bum forward too much. Really want to look to keep it as even as possible with the hips and the knees. You can either take chest to the floor or if your shoulders won't allow for this, just take your forehead to the floor. Slowly release the body all the way down, waving it down into our seal pose, just opening up the back, opening up the shoulders again. And now sweep the right arm under the left. So it's like a little bow. And we're gonna, again, give those shoulders a good stretch. So you're sinking down into these shoulders. And you can release the chin to chest, which I really love doing, because it really opens up that upper back and the back of the neck. And just find where it feels good. We'll switch it round, so come back into seals so that we can switch the arms around and then come back down. So like I said, little bow pose with those arms and then allow the body to sink down into this stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. Take the hands back underneath and then from here, we're going to take our arms out to the side and take your right hand alongside your chest and your right foot behind you. So we're finding this nice little twist opening up the hips, opening up the shoulder again. So you should feel this in the front side of your left shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Release and then switching sides. So take your left hand alongside you, right arm extended, left leg over behind, inhale and exhale. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to unravel ourselves back to centre. Take the elbows in front of you for Sphinx Pose. Again, just find that gentle release into the back. And again, chin to chest. Inhaling and exhaling. We're now going to look over our right shoulder and we're going to hold this for around 30 seconds. Now what I want you to do here is to look at the corner of your left eye up to the corner of the room and just keep looking out to that left side. So this is really working into this polyvagal or vagus nerve work to really reset the body. Inhale and exhale naturally. So don't need to really force this breath. It's just as natural as feels right for you. When you've done your 30 seconds, you'll come back to center, look over to the left and same again, look out the corner of your right eye. Now the indicator that you may feel like this is working is you may be feeling like you need to yawn, you might need to swallow, you might feel like there's a lot of saliva in the back of your throat. And these are all good indicators that we're really starting to engage our parasympathetic response. Inhale and exhale. Come back to center, inhale. And then from here, dropping the chin to chest and we'll slowly roll back. So we're gonna come back into our tabletop, just spin it around so you can see me from the front. And this is where we're gonna start introducing the block. Now if you don't have a block, a big book will be fine. And we're just using pressure against the side of the face. So you're just gonna gently push the side of the face into the hand and vice versa, the hand is pushing gently against the side of the face. So we're creating a little bit of an isolation movement here. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. Now you could hold this for a little bit longer than what I'm doing today. Inhaling and exhaling. It's just kind of a little bit like PNF. We're just trying to find a little extra stretch in the side of the neck here. Take the block to the front of the forehead. I'll just show you from the side as well. Place the palms to the front of the block. And again, imagine pushing your forehead forward. So a little bit like that forward positioning posture we sometimes get at computer screens. Inhale. And the same we do at the base of the head. So just where the skull fits. Okay, so bring it to the back there pressing the head back into the block. And again, I really like this stretch, really feels that opening into the back of the neck. And then finally place the block at the top of the head and imagine pushing the head up towards the ceiling and pressing slightly firmly onto the top of the head. And then gently we're going to release. Take the block to one side, 
And now we're going to grab hold of our strap. So take your strap into a large loop, a little bit like a seat bow or a handbag strap, and you're going to place it over your body as such. Make sure that the strap is flat and then you're placing the hand inside the looped area to stop the loop from sliding out. You interlace the hands into that loop and the back of the strap and you're just going to push down firmly into the strap. If you find that the strap needs to be shortened slightly just to get a little bit of extra pressure into the shoulders, then please do that as well. So you'll see that I'm just adjusting here and then elbow oh, is slightly bent and then from here I'm going to push down, straightening out the arm as much as I can, pushing the hand away. Inhale and exhale. Let's say I show you again, so relax the elbow, deep breath in, maybe adjust it to a different part of the top of the shoulder. And then imagine you're basically grabbing hold of the muscle and as you push the arm down and forward, it's pulling it back and really finding some nice pressure. Now watch that you're not hitching up your left shoulder at the same time. So that left shoulder should still be pushing down. For an extra stretch, you want to turn your head away from the strap so you're finding that extra stretch in the right hand side of the neck. Inhale and exhale. You can go again, change it a bit further up if you prefer, or if you're happy where it is, then please stay there. And let's do that one last time. So pressing all the way down, press the palms away. So you're pushing the hand away from the body. Again, take that side stretch in the neck. You should really start to feel this releasing any tension in the shoulders, which we all tend to hold. And then let's switch sides. So same thing again. So on the other side, interlace your hands into the area where the loop is and place the palm of the hand into the back of the strap to give you that resistance. From here, deep breath in, elbow slightly bent, and then we're going to push it down, doing our very best not to hitch the shoulder up as best as we can. We do tend to be a little bit more um, less resistant one side to the other, so just find what feels right for you. And then we're going to do the same again, readjust it, find another little space that feels particularly tight for you, releasing the head away from the strap. Find that strap uh, stretch into the left hand side this time, inhaling and exhaling. And we'll do that one last time if you wish to, otherwise take the strap away. And then from here, we're going to work into our face. Now, if you've got glasses, please remove them. Take the hands up above, take that left hand over to the right hand side of the head and release the right arm out to the side. Slowly lower that arm all the way down so you find a deep stretch coming all the way down the side of the neck into the shoulders and just stop at that point. Inhale, turn the palm away and press it forward gently. And exhale, bring it back. And just notice how that stretch moves as you do this stretch. Keep your core engaged. Switch sides, take your right hand to the outside of the left side of the face and take the left arm out to the side and then gently release the arm. Again, finding this lovely little stretch on the side of the neck and the shoulders and gently move that palm forward and then move the palm back. Take a deep breath in and then exhale as we reach arms up to the sky. From here, take the left arm underneath the right arm and draw the elbows up to the sky. So we're gonna take this little eagle posture with the arms, interlacing the hands. And then from here, and I just want to show you from both sides really, because from here, we're really looking to draw the shoulder blades to, um, away from each other, opening up the shoulders broadening the shoulders down. We're not letting the shoulders come up towards the ears. Inhaling. And then we'll switch the arms the other way around. So right arm under left this time. And then interlace the hands, drawing the elbows up. Inhaling. And exhaling, relaxing the shoulders down. So really find that stretch. You can also tilt your chin to chest if this feels good and release deep breath in bring the head back up reach your arms up tall and then interlace the hands and then we're going to roll the shoulders up and over so we're finding this lovely little stretch in the upper back into the upper shoulders inhaling 
draw the arms back up to the sky, release, take the hands down to the ground. From here, just release the chin to chest one final time. Inhale, bring the chin up to the sky and exhale. Look over your right shoulder and now look over your left shoulder. Just noticing if there's a little bit more movement or mobility into the neck. So from here on the face, we're going to start tapping the fingertips all the way down the face. So we're working from the top of the forehead down to the sides, all the way down into the cheeks, working our way down the cheeks, moving outwardly down the cheeks. So we go from the cheekbone down and keep moving out and keep moving out. So we get to the, the outside of the jawline Keep breathing naturally here, keep tapping away. And then from here, take your thumbs underneath the jawline and drag the thumbs underneath the jawline. Just notice if there's any lumps or bumps, little knots under that jawline. Just work into them, hold it there if you need to. And then exhale and release. Just gonna show you from the outside. And then from here, drawing the thumbs under that jawline all the way to the end and release that one more time deep breath in and exhale out great work imagining releasing just letting go take your little baby finger you're going to place it into the sort of conch area of the ear and you're just going to gently rotate the finger around now you can easily use your baby finger or your index finger whichever's available for you just moving it around in circles clockwise and just do it one side and then do it the other just to notice any differences on each side Perhaps finding one side feels a little bit more looser than the other. Maybe the ear moves a little bit easier than the other. Just nice deep breaths in and out. Just breathing as naturally as possible here. Those little clockwise circles. Just keep moving around and then switch sides. Now this time we're going to grab the outside of the ear and you're gently pulling the ear out. So you're making your way all the way down the outside of the ear to the lobe. And the same on the other side, just gently pulling onto the outside of the ear all the way to the lobe. Again, just noticing differences on each side. Take your fingers into a little V shape. So we're taking the finger behind and in front of the ear and just moving up and down. Then taking your fingers to the between the forehead and we're going to just rub up and down here, just gently releasing and relaxing that forehead. And then take your index fingers and move them up and over the brow line, taking it out towards the temples, really feeling that movement and really working into the fascia of the face, allowing everything to move better, glide better. Gently working into the temples. Now you want to imagine you're literally moving the skin above the bone. You don't want to be jabbing your fingers into your skull. So gentle circles backwards, and then from here, we're going to take the hands to the top of the cheekbones up towards the ears and then dragging those fingers again down the sides of the ears all the way into the lobes, inhaling and exhaling. And then finally into the sternocleidomastoid, that big thick muscle down the side of the neck, thumb and forefinger on either side, gently pressing down towards the collarbone. Okay, so coming back up to standing now, we're going to start tapping into the back of the shoulder, down the arm, and all the way back up the arm. Tapping into the front of the chest, so we're starting to re-energize this whole body now. And the same on the side, tapping the top of the shoulders, all the way down the arm, all the way back up the arm, into the chest, working our way across the chest. Nice deep breaths in and then opening up into the side of the body. So we're opening up down into the ribs, coming all the way down the side of the body. I always quite like this one, it feels like really opening and like revitalizing. And then hands in towards the ribs. Obviously, gently we're tapping, we're not smashing ourselves. <laughs> and then same again into below the belly button area, moving into this area, just very gently tapping away into this area and then into the outsides of the glutes and the hips, all the way down the legs. You could also slap into the legs rather than with the knuckles if that feels more comfortable. And then all the way down the front of the legs and all the way up the back of the legs. So just 
re-energizing this whole body. Bring it into the lower back, into the kidneys, rubbing up and down with the knuckles, just reinvigorating the circulation. And then hands into lower back, gentle back bend, gentle forward bend, gentle back bend, gentle forward bend. Okay, don't need to see you guys doing any crazy back bends here. And then bringing the hands into the hips, we'll take some gentle hip circles opening up the rest of this body, inhaling and exhaling. Great work. Inhale. And then from here, let's just take it back round to the front now for you guys. And we're going to move all the way through into some nice big hip circles, opening the body up and then sweep those arms up high to the sky, hands to heart center. Take a moment just to breathe here, bowing your head to your hands, inhaling and exhaling. Just take a moment to really ground yourself, being thankful for this practice. Have a wonderful day.